Favourite inspirational quote or life motto? Oh, yeah. Um, Favourite ins inspirational quote. Many things in life catch your eye, but only a few things catch your heart. Pursue those. So, don't worry about what catches your eye. Only pursue things that catch your heart. So, I, that's, that's, uh, that would be one of my um, favourite adages and yeah. uh, never cry over things that can't cry over you yep if you prang your car don't cry over it only if you can lose something that could cry over you like a pet or another person mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go too and uh never waste time worrying about things you don't have any control over the big three the Love big that. Three. that's pretty relevant today's uh world follow your heart don't uh, control the controllables and don't cry over anything that won't can't, cry over you, can't cry over you. That's right. Yeah. Don't, Ob yeah. Objects. Yeah, that's yeah. right. In your work life, this is a good one, what makes you angry? What are your pet peeves? Ignorance. Yeah. Stupidity. Ignorance is probably, and people who aren't logical. You cannot sit down and have a conversation with someone because there are many topics that people disagree on, uh, particularly political uh, in politics, in sport, maybe religion, there's plenty of things that people um, disagree on, but if you have a discussion or even a, a robust discussion or even an argument with people and they're not logical, you you will go nowhere. Mm. Um, never argue with idiots because they'll beat you down to their level and, 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 and beat you in experience. Yep. This is good advice. What's your favourite way to spend your day off? This is a, obviously COVID free world. Oh yeah, COVID free <laughs> world. Nice to uh, at the moment. Yeah, oh. I, well I, I, I'm an outdoors person. I like uh, to play golf, a bit of boating. Yeah. Um, You've still got your, your famous, is it a boat or a ship? Yeah. No, I have, a, I have a boat, but yeah. uh, for some extraordinary reason, now this is, this is the world we live in, for some extraordinary re reason, COVID notwithstanding, you aren't allowed to go out on a boat you own. Mm. Can you tell me what that is about? Mm. Can you tell me why you couldn't go out on your own on a boat? Uh, that, that, that is beyond me. Why, why can't you on your own go fishing? Why on your own can't you go and play golf? Why can't you play tennis? Um, and yet you can do a whole lot of other things. Was strength and conditioning a key focus for you and the teams you played on? If so, what would you do? What was strengthening and conditioning? Like fitness yes. training. Yeah, no, we, we, uh, yeah, no, that's a good question. Because uh, when I started, I was uh, probably about the same height, but I was about, uh, I was pretty thin. And I did a lot of uh, uh, strengthening, strengthening work, a lot of weights. Um, uh, because Specifically, of, what, like, was bench press the focus? Yeah, bench press, yeah. bench, bench pressing, leg presses, uh, yeah. but certainly upper body work, because uh, in the ruck, you, yeah, but try to uh, ha have a happy medium between not losing your mobility and your spring uh, yeah. as having to some upper body body strength. And we did um, uh, plenty of endurance uh, uh, running and uh, used to go down to the um, uh, sand hills down at Portsea and Ocean Grove and Barwon Heads in the summer. Going back to your, your career, you were doing, I know the connection we had was you did a bit of work in Melbourne with my dad as a ruck coach. Mm. Um, were you back then? Was your mindset to focus post career a little bit on coaching and pursuing no. that? No, no, so you're no sort I, of helping out. Yeah, no, I went to asked. I went to about uh, five or six different clubs as a ruck coach. Yeah, only because I was a very good ruck coach. I actually knew yeah, yeah. I knew what would make people good in the ruck, yeah. and gave them a. Uh, I never told people how to play, but I only suggested that these would be logical things to do if you played in the ruck because a ruckman's first job is to get his hand on the ball and try and hit it to someone in the same colour jumper. Mm -hmm. I would suggest that you'd ask most people who ruck, coach rucks these days what their goal is and they'd have no idea. They'd know, have no idea how to tell their, uh, the player they're instructing or suggesting things to, how to go about getting the ball, uh, how about uh, knowing where to hit it. Uh, and, and, and you should play people on their weaknesses, not on their strengths. Work out what the person you're playing is on weaknesses are and play to those weaknesses. We're in your uh, podcast studio. Yep, so yeah, this is podcast. a studio I do a podcast in with Don Scott and a bloke called Rocket Law, Rod Law. 
Rod likes to stand behind the, uh, the camera and not get on camera, but he's an integral part of our show. We used to do it with Mike Sheehan, but he withdrew. Uh, Mick withdrew after that. And um, so I just do it with Don Scott and the Rocket. Mm -hmm. And uh, we love doing it because we're not beholden to anyone. We don't have any sponsors and we say what we absolutely like. And um, about current affairs, sport, mm -hmm. uh, we interview people. We had our five millionth download Wow. Um, a couple of weeks ago, Podbean sent us a congratulatory yeah. um, uh, text uh, saying, because uh, we, we started off just um, just having a few people listen, and and now we have a lot of people listen. Yeah, so, nice. um, yeah, so we don't do it for any other reason than we enjoy it. Yeah.